Landholders in Queensland say methane gas bubbling out of a major river has worsened dramatically. Scientists monitoring the Condamine River have confirmed to the ABC that the release of methane has increased in the last 12 months. But Mark Willisey reports the cause remains a mystery. Helen Bender's family has farmed near the Condamine River for generations and they use its water to sustain their stock. Today, she and landholder John Jenkin are heading to a remote spot in the river where gas from within the earth is bubbling to the surface. In terms of the number of bubbles along the river, both upstream and downstream, um, is increasing. So, you know, you've got to now ask, what is the river trying to tell you? This is known as a methane gas seep. And in recent years, four have been recorded within a five-kilometre stretch of the Condamine River. And it's not just landholders who say the bubbling is increasing. Professor Damien Barrett leads the CSIRO's research into unconventional gas, and he's been monitoring the Condamine in partnership with the coal seam gas industry. There have been uh, changes in the uh, flux of methane through the river over the last 12 months. A Queensland government investigation a few years ago determined that this seeping methane posed no safety or environmental risks. But no one knows what's causing it. Is it human or natural activity, or a combination of both? As well as a government investigation, there have been industry and independent reports into the bubbling in the Condamine. None has managed to solve the mystery. But they do suggest contributing factors could include anything from drought to natural fault lines or depressurisation caused by water bores or nearby coal seam gas wells. We know that the methane that is bubbling in that river is varying in time uh, and the reason for that, while it's unknown, um, could be perfectly natural. Reports of bubbling in the Condamine go back decades. This Queensland mining journal from 50 years ago describes a gas blowout when a water bore was drilled into the coal seam below. But some locals say the bubbles have worsened since the arrival of the coal seam gas industry, which has sunk wells throughout this region. As they take all the water out of the wells, I just presume that the gas has just found the easiest route out of the ground and it happens to be in the river, so up she comes. We need to know that the answers are now because the bubbles are getting, getting a lot worse as the CSG activities continue. It's expected to take years and millions of dollars before this riddle is solved. Mark Willisey, ABC News, Condamine River.